Morning, John. A bit of a change of scenery this morning, mate. I thought I'd start doing my check-ins uh, while I start on a walk. Uh, become pretty lazy during this off-season, so I thought I'd best uh, do a, a little bit more activity. So I thought I could do it, have a little walk whilst doing my check-ins. So, yeah. It's generally, mate, looks like a really, really good week on the new programme. Um, looks as though the goal's been hit because, you know, we wanted to challenge you with limited equipment. Um, we wanted to inspire new growth, new gains with with the equipment that you've got. And uh, you said that it's horrible, <laughs> which to me is, a, is, a, is always a good sign in a way. Um, yeah. You obviously described the leg session as sort of killing you off. Um, and that's the goal of these sessions, you know, because my reps, drop sets, things like that, and supersets, they're not, they're not easy. They're not easy at all. Um, they're really difficult intensity techniques. But what I feel is going to happen probably over the next um, four to eight weeks on the new programme, because we've never done this before, it's going to inspire some new growth. Um, basically, the research shows that that muscle growth can occur with rep ranges, mate, up to up to 30, 40, um, down to as little as like three. So obviously, you're hitting the higher rep ranges here with this with this new program with all your drop sets, supersets, and my reps and. You're going to notice some gains, 100%. So what I've done, mate, is I've actually increased your food a little bit um, now that we're pushing ourselves more. Um, so I'm happy if you are to get, well, to resume a slower um, bulk than what we were doing when we was at the gym, uh, rather than just like sticking it in maintenance for forever, because obviously this lockdown is going to keep going on for a bit of time. Um, I thought we could continue to bulk a little bit and until we're, we're ready to diet again. I mean, I've seen how you're looking and you're still looking pretty lean, you know, your abs are still visible, etc. So, yeah, why not? So what I've done, mate, is I've, I've increased your fat. Only, as I said, it's going to be very gradual, very s small increases as opposed to when we're at the gym. Um, just very gradual. So I've increased your fats by a gram. That's just one gram. So they've gone up to 75 and I've increased your carbs just by 10 grams on training days and 10 grams on non-training days. So they're very, 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 very small changes, like tiny. But I obviously want to keep fat gain at a minimum and I want to keep muscle gain, muscle gain at a maximum um, because we're training at home and because you've not got access to as heavy equipment as you would at this sort of gym and we're having to do what we're doing the, 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 the changes in your food will have to come slower um, but obviously that's not a problem it is what it is isn't it you're not going to moan about that it's, it's extra food at the end of the day and it's going to help fuel your workouts but generally mate yeah uh, it looks like the first sort of week of training has gone, gone well and it has been hard but I, I know that it's going to be good for you, good challenge, things like that. So you're finally out of isolation, so you're back at work, which is good. So you'll probably be a bit more active now as well, which is another reason why you probably need a bit more food um, because your weight has stabilised now um, around the 209 mark, just under 210. Um, so I feel we can, we can see what happens over the next, the course of the next month. Um, if we, we gradually push your calorie intake a little bit higher. Um, but obviously we'll see how, how your body responds week on week and, and kind of adapt according to that. So yeah, um, yeah, just let you know, I don't know if you if you are interested. I know, you, I'm sure you've probably got a bench, but um, I thought I'd give you, you and some of my clients first dibs because basically what it is, Maria's ordered me an adjustable bench. Um, for my birthday, which is in March. It's like an early birthday present, so back in stock. So I'm selling my uh, strength shop 
flat bench which is really good quality i'm not just saying that it's really good quality i'm selling it for 100 quid mate so if you're interested let me know um no worries if not um i thought i thought of you because i know you're sort of after some kit but obviously if you've already got that there's probably not much point in buying buying mine but obviously it is it is a really good quality one um they retail at 170 on the strength shop website and they're out of stock quite a lot so um, but obviously I'm willing to sell it for 100 quid. I've only had it since, to be honest with me, I've only had it since April. Um, so just let me know either way, yes or no. Um, no worries if not, but I thought I'd let you know. But anyway, keep up the good work and uh, let me know how you get on uh, over the course of the, the next few weeks with your, with your programme. And we'll go from there. All right then, John. See you later, mate.